What's up, everybody? Doc Dark1985. There's levels to this. All right, guys, check this out, man. So it's a new year, right? And um, I'm not really big on New Year's resolutions or anything like that. But this year, I, I, I actually have goals that I started yesterday, actually. Today's the second. I put this up on Twitter. I said, this year, something to the effect, I said, this year, I need to get my uh, finances right, and I need to get my, uh, my health right. And this is what I mean. Thank God I make decent amount of money. God has blessed me, for sure. Thank God that I have a well-able body and I'm relatively in good health. I got a, a pinched, um, I got a herniated disc in my neck, but it is what it is. It happens. Overall, though, I'm, I'm in pretty good health, I would say. But sometimes I feel like I'm disrespecting God when I don't take what he's given me and really use it to its max potential, right? So this year, this is what I'm starting, right? My resolution. I'm starting with um, just trying to eat a lot healthier. I said I'm going to track my food a little bit more. Um, my workouts pretty much are good. I'm just going to track my food a little bit more. And I'm going to be respectful to the money that God has given me and really use it in just don't abuse what he's given me pretty much. With that being said, like the title of this video says, Game Pass has made me question subscription services. And this is what I mean. Game Pass by far is the subscription service that I use the most. And I know for a fact, if I was to tally up everything that I've played so far on Game Pass versus how much I've paid for it a month, I'm definitely on the winning side. I'm definitely on the winning side. So when I look at a subscription service like that, like Game Pass, and I'm actually using it, now it's more than just a fair exchange between me and Microsoft. The reason I said that Game Pass is making me question other subscription services, it's not that I'm questioning Game Pass. It's that I'm questioning all these other subscription services that I pay for that I don't use. And what's crazy is I've seen this being an argument. I've seen Xbox try to use this against Sony Pony. Like, well, you pay for Disney Plus. Well, you pay for this. Well, you pay for that. So why are you complaining about Game Pass? And it's like, that's not, that's not a good argument to have because in reality, if you're not watching Disney Plus like that, then Disney is, is just getting that $8 a month from you for no reason. If you're not watching Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon video like that, then all of them are just getting your money for no reason. So for me, I mention all those services because I subscribe to all those services, and we even subscribe to Audible as well. And I don't even do audiobooks. Thank God I got Apple Music for free because I'm, uh, Verizon had a promotion with like a lifetime free of Apple Music. But even... If you subscribe to two different music things, then you might want to question that as well. Because here's the deal. It's your money. Do whatever you want, right? If you want to be disrespectful with your money, it is what it is. You do what you want. But I'm just saying for me, I really got to sit down and look at everything. And if it doesn't bring me the same value that Game Pass does, why am I paying for it? There's no other way to put it, but that's dumb. If it's not bringing me... Let me rephrase that. If it's not bringing me or my family that same value, then why would I pay for it? And the reason I say that is because I'm thinking about PS Plus. I don't play any PlayStation games online. But my son does on his PS5. I'm going to have to have that conversation with him and see what games are you playing online, bud? Because if it's just Apex Legends, then we don't need to have PS Plus. PS Now has more games on it than Game Pass. It really does. But if I don't use it, why am I paying for it? 
You see, this is not a what's better or not, because I can argue with you that Netflix is better than Hulu, but if you're someone that likes sitcoms more or shows more, you might say, no, Hulu is better than Netflix. It's whatever you value more, right? So it doesn't matter that something to somebody or even to the masses might be better than something else. It's whatever you value. Shout out to Legend. Legend said he canceled his Legend 3. I can't even do 3. Legend 3, 5, Oh, go check out my dude's channel. All right, shout out to you, Legend. Legend said, Doc, do what I did. I think he said he canceled Netflix, canceled Amazon Prime, and he kept Crunchyroll, and I think he said he kept Hulu. Correct me if I'm wrong, Legend. But he kept Crunchyroll because he likes anime. For me, Crunchyroll would be a waste of money because I don't, I don't like anime like that. You know what I mean? So it kind of makes sense that maybe you subscribe to just what you're going to be using and you respect the rest of your money. With that being said, even though I love Stadia, I don't use Stadia Pro. So I'm not going to subscribe to it. Even though I see, listen to me, listen, this is not a fanboyish video or anything. Even though I see the value of PS Now, I do, I truly do. I actually like PS Now. The fact that I don't use it enough to not even justify the $5, because I, I got it for $5 a month, which the games that I've played right now on PS Plus, on PS Now, have been God of War. That's the only game that I've really played on it. I probably could have gone to GameStop and just bought it, you know? When I'm looking at Game Pass, though, the amount of times that I've used Game Pass, and because, here's the other thing, the other features of Game Pass, I've used Game Pass on my PC as well. I've used Game Pass on my phone. My son uses Game Pass on his Xbox One S. Like, we are actually, use, this is a subscription service that we use the most. This is making me look at everything else that I subscribe to and question it. So I got to sit down and have this conversation with the family and find out like, hey, I know it's only $10 here, $8 there, whatever. But when you add everything up, it all matters. And why am I going to be paying these companies money if I'm not even using their service? The PS Plus conversation is going to be interesting with my son because I know he doesn't really play the games that they give him for free, the two games you get for free. And I know, I don't think he's playing any multiplayer game online that's a playstation exclusive so what are we paying ps plus for is it something that i'm missing with ps plus let me know doc dog 1985 there's levels to this yo get healthy this freaking year get your finances right we out peace